Hello and welcome, Geminis. This is your April 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. It really does help the channel out. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we do here, Geminis, we will divide the video in sections, that makes sense, um, even though they will be brief. We will look at the overall energy for the months of April for your very sign of Gemini. Before we then look at your emotional core, emotional core is about whether there is healing that needs to be happened, whether there is love coming in, whatever needs to be tweaked on that front. Uh, before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of April 2023. So, Geminis, are you ready? Here we go. So we're looking at the overall energy first, and the overall energy is, is, is simple and not necessarily super easy to do either. Your job is this month to literally collaborate. So the overall energy is to understand there, might, there may be things that you do all the time, where you feel without me, nothing is working, <laughs> right? So, so this is twofold. This is one, saying to people that don't put the work in, right? Where's your support? Support me here, right? This is a joint venture. Put the bloody work in. So that's number one. And then the other thing is, is when you feel like, okay, well, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing A, B, C and stuff. Collaborate. Collaborate with people. Be more open about um, spending time with others on something that you want to achieve, if that makes sense. So don't be a loner, if that makes sense, because by default, Gemini is the sign of the twin. And so therefore, that inner voice that sort of gives you that comfort isn't always there for Gemini. Um, hence the idea of having other people in your life that make up for that little inner voice that doesn't quite scream as loudly <clears throat> as you would love it to do. Right. So collaboration is the key word for the oval energy for the month of April 2023 for the sign of Gemini. Moving on to your emotional core. And again, sounds very easy. Nothing is as easy as it sounds. Always, all you need to do, <laughs> super easy, <clears throat> you have Chiron or Chiron, the, the wounded healer, as your energy. And it's just heal. What the guides are saying is rather than, than focusing on a new relationship, focusing on um, making things work. <clears throat> this is the time for you to, to understand stuff has happened to me, in the case you, that still sit with you, that still somehow have a hold over you. You haven't quite fully let things go, right? Which is actually common, right? For, for all star signs, not just, not just Gemini. But your job is to actually feel what is still there and does it serve me to have that inside me and live with me? So this is about letting go whatever is in the way of achieving harmony within a relationship or while manifesting a relationship. What are the blockages that make me not attract, if that makes sense. Right? So this is your emotional core. Now we're moving on to the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of April 2023. Like I said, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you, but it is my experience that when people find the video, obviously they need to hear the message. Okay, so let's have a look at um, the uh, opportunities for the months of April. <clears throat> and <laughs> opportunities by default. Uh, um, don't seem to be super abundant in April for whatever reason, right? It's quite interesting because when, when you look at April, this being a new tax year, um, it always feels like so the old year is falling off and we're now starting over. But the energy here in April seems seems sluggish and slow-ish. So just be aware. Hence, you when it comes to opportunities, you are asked to be proactive and go for what it is you want. Don't sell yourself short. That's how you create um, opportunities. It's by being out there and go like, well, hey, here I am. Right? So you have to be active and you have to be proactive. And, um, you know, and sometimes it feels a bit weird. You know, when you, when, when, when you are a person that has a lot of experience, uh, it can be bothersome to give someone a bloody CV or, or resume or, or even talk about all the things you've done in the, in the last 20 years because you don't here to convince anybody. 
So I get that conceptually. And all the guys are saying is, suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> and do what you need to do. Be out there. Just do the speech you have to do, if that makes sense. If that is what, 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 what opens that door for you. Okay? Gemini's, that's all we got. This was your general reading for the month of April 2023. You're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And I would, um, would be uh, grateful if you were here next month. Thank you very much. See you then.